Islamic Community Center and Mosque vandalized. Tonight, Philadelphia police and mosque leaders, they need your help finding the person responsible. I'm Sheba Russell. I'm Jason Martinez. This happened overnight Friday into Saturday at Masjid Allah, and it's caught on their cameras. Here's our Kelly Rule. Mosque and community leaders tell me this seemed intentional and deliberate, that this man knew exactly where he was going and what he was doing. But fortunately, they say the outpouring of support from both religious organizations and the community shows that whatever this man was trying to do didn't work. We just, um, you know, just didn't understand it. Surveillance video at Masjid Allah, a mosque and community center, shows a man getting off a bus at Washington Lane and Lime Kiln Pike Friday night, walking up to their front entrance, then turning away and immediately heading to the back of their building, where leaders say the man, who they do not recognize, spray painted and physically used a can of paint to vandalize various doors and a brand new refrigerator for their food pantry. Philadelphia Police Northwest Detectives are investigating. We were, you know, totally shocked about what we saw. Taking the bus here, um, you know, just to run across the street and right all over our property. We don't know who he is, but he, he knows who we are and, uh, you know, um, had some bad intentions for us. Resident Imam Idris Abdul Zahir says it happened around midnight early Saturday morning at a time when their youth group is usually wrapping up, but fortunately, they went home earlier that night. The vandalism included a cross, a star of David, and Jesus written out. Masjid Allah responded with a joint statement with the Perfecting Church and Congregation Rodef Shalom to show three distinct faith communities stand together against the hate. We don't love God better by hating our brother, uh, but that we love God better by loving our brothers. We will come stronger out of this uh, and at the same time it's uh, it's a warning sign that uh, fanaticism and uh, and hatred is real and it's sad for our communities to not be able to worship in peace some of the vandalism remnants were still clear even after cleanup Sunday but leaders say they are more motivated than ever we're not quitting on Philadelphia uh, this only makes me want to come harder and do more because clearly um, someone tried, you know, is, wants to deter us, and we're not going to be deterred at all. Tonight they tell me they've actually had people reach out and volunteer to help paint and continue to clean up. They're asking the person responsible to turn themselves in, and if you do recognize the man, call police. Reporting outside police headquarters, I'm Kelly Rule, Fox 29 News. Real